Hi guys, today I'm gonna do an unboxing, mostly build already, of a Rutabian Broker, the new heroes from Forge World. I uh, already assembled them, I forgot to register. I was uh, so keen to, to see how they look, and I forgot to, to even register it, so yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, the problem I have with this guys that they are a bit too small especially Rutabi is like a mini dwarf or something that's why I put him on a stone at least to look like a captain or something the miniatures are very nice and very nice details on them uh, they will look a bit nice painted if you spend a bit more time on them than the regular grunts uh, one leg is a bit huge, that is wearing 46 for leg. Uh, it is, this one is a girl. To understand why they have to make it so short compared to the guy. But yeah, see I put I put him, I put her on the stone and it's like almost the same tall as, as this guy, the priest. So yeah, uh, there's a small gap in that front for both of them which I will put some green stuff there but uh, all in all they are very nice models and they are must have if you have an Easterling army these two they will replace the old heroes so I needed them in my army so yeah they are very nice models I really recommend them but I'm just a bit confused but why are they so small? because compared to the metal ones they will be half size. This one is very small. Of course, it's crunching a bit, but still, I mean, it had this down part and then the head with the a cloak. And I thought he will have another part between them to be more tall, but no, it's just there. So yeah, but the shield is pretty cool. If you can see it. I don't want to focus on it. Yeah, but nice miniatures. So yeah, I will have to paint them, then uh, showing them with the rest of the army. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and then see you on my next video, guys. Take care and bye bye. So guys, here they are. Uh, they are finished, and then uh, yeah. Uh, they have nice uh, details, these guys. I went with the same uh, um, color scheme, which is magenta and pink. Yeah, people were saying that uh, this uh, rim base is they are they are not looking that good. That is better. I put them black or brown, but I will just see how the the army looks like. Uh, in big picture then if I don't like them I will change them so yeah I use the same methods like the first video uh, some uh, shading with uh, black and then so with some green on the golden armor and then uh, yeah the base is uh, just sand Let me stop it so I can show you the figures. Let me show you one by one so I can focus a bit. So this is the Rutabi. As you can see. It's a nice, uh, very nice cloak flowing on it. I did some flower in the back here on the rock, growing on the rocks. I did some... Uh, yellow and green stuff to fill in this front of the base so as you can see which i have very bad light here uh yeah hope you guys can see some green shades on the armor and on the shield also mixed with uh, some black washes highlights on top 
pretty nice models too bad this is a bit too short of a figure but it looks nice don't forget to do some highlights on this sword which is pretty bad have to do some highlights on it and then the bro gear the priest that is re re replacing the war priest uh, yeah you will not take the war priest anymore you will take this one every every game so this one has a nice design on the front there looks like the eye of sauron in the front sculpted on his uh, plate also use some heavy wash with the green so as you can see guys pretty awesome model all you know the cloak is also very nice try to blend in a bit of pink in the magenta some highlights edge highlights on it yeah so yeah nice add-on to my uh, uh, Easter link so yeah this set is a must if you want to be competitive with Easter link this set is a must I have to do some pictures to put them on my Instagram so yeah thank you guys for watching and then see you on my next video guys bye bye so here they are uh, my uh, commanders finished um, I uh, used more blending on the cloaks because uh, as you can see in the pictures if you do pictures you can see where you do mistakes or where it's not blended well so yeah I have to reduce some part of them also forgot to paint some uh, horses uh, faces and also forgot to uh, clip some resin from some parts actually <laughs> from uh, this guy back I found two piece of resin in this this guy back were hiding under his cloak yeah cover them and then yeah not too bad so yeah let me just show you the I reworked a bit the new guys I will put some silver on his shield a bit use some washes and also on his uh, front nail Use some washes. And yeah, on his cloak a bit blended more. Look like a snail. This guy. And then uh, bro gear. So highlight it a bit. His metal. Blend in a bit more the cloak. This one from the middle is still not perfect, but blend it on that side. But forgot to blend it on this side. Well, I put it aside to remember. This guy a bit blend it more the cloak. On these guys, I also highlighted a bit the metal from the horses, blending a bit of cloak, painted some ears and mouth for the horses, highlighted a bit the gold. Also on this one, painted the horse face. Use some uh, blending more. Dragon Knight also painted his horse face. Tied a bit more the colors together. So yeah, this is uh, my first bunch finished. Actually, I don't have another one. So yeah, I'll wait for the the second half of my army. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video guys. Bye bye.